Let's talk Gillette. What's happening in Gillette? Next week on October 15th is a Gillette City Council meeting. Before we get to the agenda, let's take a look at some other City of Gillette happenings in the next week or two. Monday, October 14th is Columbus Day. City offices are not closed for Columbus Day, but county offices are. City things will still happen as normal. For example, if your trash day is Monday, it will be picked up on Monday. Since county offices are closed on Monday, that means they have pushed their county commissioner meeting to Wednesday the 16th. So if you were expecting to view the commissioner meeting on GPA channel 192 on Tuesday the 15th, you'll have to wait until 9 o'clock a.m. on Wednesday. The city council will meet as normal on Tuesday. Halloween is on Thursday this year, the 31st, although it's on the 31st every year, but this year it happens to be on a Thursday. If you've got little ghouls or goblins or superheroes or princesses or wizards or what have you, you can bring them by City Hall from 3 to 5 on the 31st, where the different city divisions will be set up for trick-or-treating. If you're an avid user of City Gillette Parks, and Dalby Park and the Fishing Lake in particular, you should take the Dalby Park Improvement Study Community Survey before it closes next Tuesday, October 15th. The survey is short, easy, and online, and I've linked to it in the description of this episode. The questions are about what you like about the park now, and what potential additions you would like to see in the future. So share your opinions for the Dalby Park Improvement Study Community Survey. You may be surprised to hear that I have a certain amount of phone anxiety. Talking on the phone can be pretty stressful unless I have carefully figured out exactly what I want to say. I know, logically, that this could cause me some problems. For example, if I needed to call the police department to report a crime. But there are new options now for contacting the police department and reporting crimes. In an emergency, absolutely still call 911. Or use the text to 911 service if it's an emergency and you can't speak or it isn't safe to speak. For non-emergencies, you could call the non-emergency police line at 307-682-5155. Or now, you could use the new online reporting form for crimes or incidents that are not currently in progress, active threats, or emergencies. Examples of things you might report on the form are harassing phone calls, vandalism, and theft. The great thing about a form you fill out online is you have time to think through answers to the questions and fill them out properly, so you don't get thrown by someone on the phone asking you a curveball question like, what is your name? Or where do you live? Although, you can also fill out the online form anonymously. If you do provide contact information, the Gillette Police Department will follow up with you within three business days. I put a link to the form in the description, but you can also find it on the Gillette Police Department page at gillettewy.gov. One of the big issues for the election this November, at least locally, is funding for the Gurley Overpass replacement, the Mike Enzi Memorial Bridge. If you would like more information on the project, you can visit informgillette.com, where you can find statistics, information on the proposal, and an FAQ. And here's what's on the October 15th City Council agenda. Another trick-or-treat thing on Halloween, there's a street closure for the 3rd Street Plaza on October 31st from noon to 6 p.m. for Gillette Main Street's Trunk or Treat event. A few optional 1% sales tax projects. Council will consider accepting the public improvements for the 2024 Crack Sale Project and the 2024 Chip Sale Project. Those are both methods of protecting and extending the life of city streets. Council will also consider a bid award for the 2025 O'Henry Court Drainage Project. Then there are a couple of planning type items with further readings of the amendment to the district zoning map for lot four, block eight of the third edition and a resolution approving and authorizing the Peterson subdivision, which will combine two parcels in a subdivision off of Warlow Drive and Garner Lake. And finally, there's a couple of liquor license items with a public hearing and then council consideration of a new restaurant liquor license for Cinco de Mayo and another round of public hearings in consideration for the transfer of an existing retail liquor license from Energy Lanes to Big D Oil Company. That's a brief look at the October 15th meeting. You can find the agenda on the city website, gillettewy.gov, and click on any item link in the agenda to get a deeper explanation of the topic and see any supporting documentation. Sign up to receive meeting notices by going to the same website and clicking on the notification program link in the quick link section at the top of the home page. City council meetings are broadcast live on GPA TV cable channel 192, as well as streaming online at gillettewy.gov GPA, where you can also find past meetings archived. Let's Talk Gillette is a production of Gillette Public Access Television and the City of Gillette.
For more information on city operations, visit the city's website, gillettewy.gov, or follow the City of Gillette on Facebook or Instagram.